the reason I haven't put out a lot of videos lately is my father passed away recently. Uh, he had a long bout with cancer, multiple myeloma, uh, which is a pretty painful bone cancer. And so uh, I spent the last couple of weeks with him in hospice and he was comfortable and surrounded by family and um, he left this world peacefully. And uh, so before you guys send me messages and feel sorry for me, you, there's no need to. Uh, I have all the help I need. My family and my wife has just been absolutely incredible. I'm just surrounded by awesome, loving people. So I have everything I need. I'm actually doing well. Uh, I'm more relieved than anything that he no longer has to fight this terrible thing anymore. And so my dad was a tremendously great pool player. Uh, he's, been, he's been playing in eight ball and nine ball tournaments for many, many years, decades, and lots of local pool leagues. And he's very well known in the Northwest Ohio area for his pool skills. His favorite game was nine ball, playing on the big nine foot tables. Um, these are just a small sampling of the trophies. He's got like 40 or 50 of these guys. Um, and so I wanted to make this case as like a little memorial for him. I originally wanted to put a full rack of the pool balls on here. And I had a conversation with my buddy, Jonathan Katz Moses. And he thought, you know, what if you just put the eight ball and the nine ball on there, just kind of as a way of like the final shot, winning, winning the game or winning the match. And then I, I thought it goes with the theme of the sticks are broken down, like you've already won, the game is over. When it comes time to change the cloth on his table, I wanna take that cloth and replace the green felt here. And I think it'll give this even more meaning since it was the cloth on, on, his, on his pool table. And that, uh, I looked at it just the other day and it's a very beautiful blue. And so that is going to, to look great. I'm also going to, I think I'm gonna make a little uh, brass plaque that's gonna go down here with his, with his name. I have um, various items that he left me and uh, some things that meant something to him and I don't know what to do with them. So that's why I made this back. I wanted a place to put some of his things and so it's going to go here. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it's functional and it's not going to be seen because this is going to be hanging on the wall. So there's um, certain documents uh, and stuff that I'm just going to keep back in here. Um, he has like little containers of rings and, and various little knickknacks that I'm just going to put back in here. Things that I don't know what to do with quite yet. And since it is kind of... Um, hastily put together. I'm not a big fan of the look. And so I might paint it. I might paint it in the future. We'll see. We'll see. But like I said, it's not going to be seen because this is going to be hung on the wall. So the cues are in there pretty, pretty darn good. The balls are just going to sit in these little divots here and they hold, they hold pretty, pretty, pretty well. Um, they'll survive an earthquake. So when it comes time to access the items in the back, of course I need to take them out and then and then pull it off the wall. So a few weeks back there was a contest to win these ISO Tunes Pro noise isolating earbuds. 1,374 people entered that contest. And so I have everybody on a spreadsheet here and I'm going to go to random.org and I'm going to pick a random number, 689, that is margin. M-A-R-I-J-N, sorry, not sure how to pronounce your name, but I do have your email address. And so I will email you and get your address and we'll get these shipped out. I'd like to thank my top Patreon supporters this week and that is Derek Jacobson, Jonathan J. Katz Moses, Bill Deal, Megan Payne, Brian McKnight, Chad Forrester, and Timothy Allen. If you wanna learn how you can get your name mentioned on the show and support me on Patreon, visit patreon.com slash Pachudo. So for the past six, eight months, I said I always release videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We're gonna slow that down a little bit while I catch up on life and um, take care of some, some personal things over the next few weeks. So you might see a little bit of slowdown in the videos, but I'm still going to release on Thursdays and sometimes on Tuesdays. But this is a fun build. Next week, we're gonna come back and we're gonna do the normal crazy goofiness. We're gonna be, we're gonna be insane, right, Eric? Yeah. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for sticking with me. And this was a, a fun project. We got a lot more fun projects to come. As always, be safe, stay passionate, have fun. 
and make something.